Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't remember how the last run went. We were on the chest, we won, we had mom's knife. Okay, now I remember. Back up to speed, just had to verbally choose to access the part of my brain that I had just forgotten. Man, we've been getting Samson runs like crazy. I'm not that mad about it. TPJ7. TPJ7. Vizes. I am definitely going to think those are twos when I look at this later. Alright. Not that I'm complaining about getting Samson runs, because Samson is... Uh, I wish we could open that. He's an interesting character in his own right. Not always the best character. I'm going to completely change directions here. And again, I like to start going the path of least resistance. Because there's a chance in our item room we get, like, piercing shots. Let's just use that as an example. We get, you know, uh, Cupid's Arrow or Sagittarius or something like that. And as a result, a big room, which is maybe consisting of, like, 35,000 flies, is not such a pain in the ass to deal with. Although still proportionally more annoying than any other floor we could possibly have to face right now. World card uh, right away is pretty good. World card! Unfortunately, without any bombs. We can't go to a secret room, and even if we did have bombs, we'd probably use them for that tinted rock first. What do we have here? Scorpio. Scorpio is not Sagittarius, but it is pretty good. We'll hit up our curse room right away because we can, and, uh... We did find our secret room. I was intending on that the entire time. Just textbook uh, good play there. I'm actually happy that we have... Is that like a third explosive diarrhea pill already? That's a little ridiculous. Oh, and then you're gonna telepills me out. Okay. I mean, it's fine. I guess, but I do have to go back in there in order to get those bombs. I'll do it because we get the damage bonus and because I actually think that explosive diarrhea is worth getting for us because there is a uh, tinted rock right here. It's a very roundabout way to have to solve a problem, but it got the job done. I guess I'll, I'll take it. I'm a little lazy about stuff like that. I think we're actually best off taking explosive diarrhea with us again. And my thinking is that we'll use explosive diarrhea on this big room if it's annoying. Uh, which it, it is. And then we'll place seven bombs and kill one enemy with it because I placed them in the most inopportune fashion possible. Then we'll go back for the world card and we'll, uh, you know, start to actually make progress here. I apologize if my voice is a little hoarse, by the way. <clears throat> I have had my morning coffee, but I did not get very much sleep last night. It's my own fault. Normally I sleep very well. I used to have terrible insomnia. There was a period of time, you know what, I'm going to use this key on this golden chest just for shits and giggles. Uh, when I was working in in Korea, ooh, I had a feeling that might be Bob's brain, but infamy is probably better. Although, I will admit that I'm a little bit jealous that I'm not going to be getting the damage out of Bob's brain right away, but that's okay. Um, There's a period where I had a, a lot of trouble sleeping and sometimes, you know, go like two or three days on two hours of sleep. I was not addicted to illegal narcotics, just, you know, terrible insomnia, but... Largely, that stuff has kind of subsided, which is awesome. But last night, I was reading uh, a subreddit that I read all the time. It wasn't like, you know, fucking our pictures of horses without necks or something like that. Although, I can get down with that. I got really engrossed in r slash ask historians. Like, a really high-quality subreddit with historical questions. And I was like, you know what? Why isn't Napoleon regarded as a conqueror? Oh, thank you for the information, you know? Uh... What what was the, you know, USSR's plan for a first strike of nuclear weapons? Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. It's actually like a pretty... I'm glad we got that spirit art there, by the way. And the tears upgrade's fine. It's actually like a pretty illuminating uh, subreddit. And then I looked at my cell phone clock, because I was reading it on my cell phone, because it's like not 1930. And I was like, oh, it's like 5.30 a.m. It's my own fault. And, the, you know, the voice is one of the first things that goes when it comes to insomnia. I find that... Well, not insomnia, but just lack of sleep. I find that uh, one of the first things that goes is the gastrointestinal tract. I'm sorry if this is getting a little too real, but uh, I do find that if I get a little bit less sleep, my BMs per PM, my BM PMs go way up. My bowel movements per minute. I mean, it's it's still well below one per minute because that would be I just blow out your O-ring. But I find like I mean, your brain, I don't know, it goes through some kind of change. It's like, oh, we didn't get very much sleep. Better poop. We gotta poop out the the awareness. I don't know. I wish I could use the world card to uh, see what the heck we got going on in our secret room here, but unfortunately we will be unable to do so thanks to Curse of the Lost. That's okay. We can live with it. The second thing that goes is your voice, though. You know, if you're tired, you got a hoarse voice. Unfortunately, the show must go on. Not unfortunately. Fortunately, I'm happy to be here. 
With two bombs, I don't really want to blow up those pots. I still want to try to find a secret room if it's at all possible. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard on uh, a second floor. There's a, Even with Curse of the Lost, there's only a couple locations it could actually be in. And we do have enough spirit hearts to probably insulate us pretty well for... Oh, that's awesome. And we'll just back up so I don't trap myself in here. With three spirit hearts, we're very well insulated for a potential deal with the devil. We also just picked up magic mushroom for free from the item room, which is out of control. Probably... I mean, it's not literally the best item you can get from the item room, but I think you got to make a pretty good case for it being, like, top 10. I am just going to go to our curse room because we can afford to, and it'll give us a damage bonus as well. Glad we got one bomb before coming in here, although it ended up not being necessary. We get amnesia, which doesn't matter. Explosive diarrhea, which doesn't matter. Bob's rotten head, which really doesn't matter, uh, but we'll take it anyway. And combining Scorpio plus magic mushroom has made our damage kind of out of control. Pinky Eye should stack with Scorpio, as far as I know. Oh, that was terrible damage. One and a half Spirit Hearts still, though. And if we end up fighting a, a boss like the Haunt, I mean, that's the greatest chance that we do lose our deal with the Devil percentage here. But, well, let's see what this does. Alright, that's pretty good. If we just uh, blow up, like, one of his ghosts, or even the second wave of ghosts with Bob's Rotten Head, then the rest of the fight should be easy enough that I'm not going to take damage on it at the very least. But, you know, let's not count our chickens. Anyway, it's blighted ovum, so I can just back it up here, or back it up and occasionally forward as well. I hit the invulnerable part of blighted ovum, which was not a smart call on my behalf. We're still going to be fine, though. Latch key for uh, more spirit hearts and extra luck, as well as a, a golden key, so I guess we might as well go to our shop. And the mom's knife pickup. Look, I'm going to take it. Now the Mom's Knife actually synergizes with stuff, absolutely I'm going to take it. Plus Mom's Knife plus Magic Mushroom is absurd. That is two Mom's Knife runs in a row. I hope you'll forgive me. We had two Dr. Fetus runs in a row. Nobody batted an eye. That's all I'm saying. Um, let's throw this down here. Mm, I'll, I'll consider that worthwhile. You know what, maybe we won't go to our shop. Just I had a hunch that might be the second secret room and just got super lucky. We have to go to our shop, because we're at 14 cents. It's so likely that we can get to a 15th cent. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a library. Well, we are absolutely going to get rid of uh, Bob's Rotten Head to go to our library here. I'm glad we came back. We used Book of Sin. We used uh, Satanic Bible. But we're going to stick with Book of Belial, and our damage is going to be, like, completely out of control. There's our 15th cent, so we don't need to worry too much more about, uh, you know, busting up poops and rocks unless we really want to. Where the heck was it up here? It was up here. And we're going to get, there's options to go along with it. Okay, so this is, I know I say this a lot, but this might be the most powerful I've ever been at the end of a second floor. We got a nice little Neapolitan ice cream of HP right now. We've got uh, potentially the most powerful tier effect in the game. I do mean potentially. I didn't even notice this tinted rock here. Uh, I'm not totally sure if it is, but it's it's far enough up there that it doesn't matter. Uh, we also have Book of Belial, inarguably one of the best spacebar items in the game, and we picked up Magic Mushroom, inarguably one of the best items in the game. Period. Spacebar or no spacebar. So I'm feeling like uh, somebody up there likes me. Somebody up there is saying, "Hey Ryan, we appreciate uh, you know your support playing the game." We're going to give you some ridiculous items, and, and that's going to make you feel good about things, and I hope that you feel good about things, too. We're hopefully going to get ridiculous here. It's the perfect combination of, you know, being a little bit sleep-deprived and at the same time um, also having the impetus to go on crazy tangents because we're already, like, rolling out of control with our items here. What would I like to see out of this? Anything that works with, uh, that works with Mom's Knife to synergize would be awesome. So, that, there's not a whole lot of synergies, but there's more than vanilla at the very least. We'll take Jesus Juice. There's no chance of us getting uh, Bandage Girl anyway. We'll also take pretty much every deal with the Devil. Uh, missing Page 2. I don't think it's that good, but uh, it does give us a black heart. And, I, I don't know, a greater chance of double trouble rooms? Not that that's necessarily worth anything. I'm still, like, I don't... On paper, I don't think that... Missing page two is worth taking, but I do still think there's some kind of, there's something under the surface, you know? There's, there's something missing there. 
Maybe like there's some kind of mechanic we don't understand. Maybe it's like it's the spirit molecule. Missing page two, the spirit molecule. That was uh, just god awful damage. We won't speak about that again. Peeper's eye is. It, I mean, what do you want me to say? It is what it is. It's not incredible. The one thing I'll say about Peeper's eye is of the eye items in the game, it's actually not the worst. You got the. Uh, you know, nearsighted friend. Nearsighted friend is just awful. You got mom's eye. Mom's eye is pretty much just an aesthetic thing. Not an ascetic thing. That's totally different. Uh, okay, I thought maybe we had another library. Two of clubs we'll use to double our bombs. We got the sun. We got the emperor. We got the world. So we'll pop our world card. World card. And we're on not XL. So... We have to really choose what card we're going to take with us. The Chariot's not going to be useful unless I backtrack, or if I take it down to like a Blood Bank on the next floor. Uh, I think we're going to take the Sun with us, just on the off chance we get more HP, but... I mean, there's a pretty good case to be made for the Emperor card as well. The Sun card is great if you have a lot of Red Hearts, but if you don't, I think the Emperor card is substantially more valuable in the late game. To be able to skip like the entire Cathedral, how many Spirit Hearts do you think that's worth? I guess it depends on how much damage you're doing and, you know, what your defensive items are like, but, you know, I, I think that, hey, that's pretty good. I think that could conceivably be worth, like, three or four spirit hearts, depending on your loadout. Sometimes even more. Anyway, we don't need to worry about it as of right now, because the run is already kind of balling out of control. We're at ten minutes, finishing the Catacombs 1. What's, what's funny about this is that this is normally where... If I was caring really hard about boss rush, I'd be like, you know, this is where you want to be. Ten minutes uh, at Catacombs 1. You'd expect that maybe we'd be going a little bit faster given the circumstances. That's okay, though. Uh, I don't think we need to buy anything there. Uh, look quickly for the second secret room. It seems like a very likely... Yeah, because there was... It, looking around, there were very, very few other situations. Yeah, I'll take all three, actually. Very, very few other situations where the room could have been and been close to the boss room. Didn't have to be close to the boss room, but probably was going to be. So many explosive diarrhea pills. We've gotten, like, a, a higher than average proportion of uh, duplicate pills as well. Like, rooms with multiple of the same pill. Which is fine, as long as they end up being good. Explosive diarrhea ended up working out nicely for us on the first floor. Speaking of which, there's another explosive diarrhea pill. I was hoping to find a... Uh, well, you know what? We should play that because we're Samson. I think the coffee's kicking in. I can feel like my words per minute going up. As if I'm Mavis Beacon teaches the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Look, not every joke can be a winner from the outset. Some of them need some time to be punched up. I'll get my crack team of uh, fired SNL writers on that. And I'll get back to you in a video uh, four and a half months from now in a timely fashion, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be full on, like, you know, poison dagger mode here. We got three different kinds of poison, Pinky Eye, Scorpio, and uh, Common Cold. Combine that with the Bob's Brain that I thought we had, but actually it turned out to be Infamy, and you've got a pretty noxious run here, but that's actually a very good thing. I think all of those poisons uh, synergize with one another. Like, I think they, they stack up. I don't think they override. Well, they probably do at times override one another. I do want to play the Blood Bank as much as possible. I don't really want the IV bag, but the... Extra HP that we could get would be nice, and on top of that, we get the damage bonus as well. Not that we need it, I mean, at this point, with the damage that we're doing, we could probably, I don't know, maybe like three or four shot most bosses. Some bosses probably one shot, like we fight uh, the husk or something right here. You're not supposed to do what I did there, and you saw the reason why. The hollow, for example, if I can just get a good shot, yeah, should be a one shot kind of thing. Uh, we'll definitely take meat in this situation. I was looking forward to the HP. Maybe Krampus now? Yeah, this is actually a really good time for us to be fighting Krampus. And Lump of Coal, I don't even know if it synergizes. Whatever. This is still fine. Next thing we need... I wanted to fight Krampus because we didn't have very much HP to trade for de uh, deals with the devil. Next thing I would like to have is uh, flying. If I could swing flying right here, I would be a very happy camper. I'll go back for that. That might as well be my new catchphrase. I'll go back for that. I'll take Champion's Belt here. You look, I understand the value of uh, Blue Map, don't get me wrong. But I 
pretty much just prefer to stack up damage. I'm old school that way. I don't need any of your newfangled GPS technology. Just give me enough damage and I'll get the job done. All it takes is a little bit of elbow grease. I am admittedly kind of religiously checking the clock here and I'm doing so because there is the opportunity to get a free item from boss rush not with the current card we have we already fought that boss but um, if we got a different card a teleportation card there's a chance you already know that you didn't need me to tell you but I'm gonna tell you anyway because I gotta fill like 50 minutes of, of air here you know sometimes people are like oh Northern Lion saying the same thing all the time from the top of my dome piece is coming out 45 minutes of just unscripted content here. I, oh, well, again, sometimes ask and you shall receive. We asked for flying, we got flying. A very common uh, exercise in like public speaking classes or improv classes, stuff like that, is we're gonna give you two minutes and you have to talk about this topic that we give you that you know nothing about. That's two minutes. I'm so, oh, that was dumb. I'm, I'm doing this for 50 minutes here now. It's not as difficult because I know what I'm talking about to some extent at least I you know oh okay I'm thinking let's be brave I'm a genius it gave us the amnesia pill but you got to admit there was some master work in there you know what yeah let's play you can't play the blood bank so we might as well I'm just saying you know people he does oh yeah he talked unedited for 50 minutes but he repeated himself a little bit come on cut me some slack here Isaac's fork is not what we're gonna be looking for Kuh. Uh, maybe a secret room? Hopefully not with a an eternal heart in it. Alright, well. I would have preferred an eternal heart to just nothing, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. We'll be heading down to the depths part one. Not going very fast, all things considered, but it's hard to be mad about that. Yeah, it's hard to be mad about that, considering we have good damage, decent HP, a great card, and uh, a fantastic spacebar item. This is, I mean, I should have called it earlier. Oh, I botched it miserably. I should have called it earlier, but this is pretty much a, as close to a one run as you can get. Especially considering that we didn't even have to pay for some of these. Like, we didn't pay for flying. We didn't pay for infamy. We did pay for missing page two, which is like, you know, we might as well have paid for one of those items, I guess, but still. We're kind of in an absurd position right now. I'm assuming Lump of Coal plus Mom's Knife is not really all that I've cracked it up to be in the past. Okay. We were going to be going here anyway. I'll take Guppy's Tail. We got a lot of keys. Lord of the Pit is just uh, worthless right now. I was still considering buying it just for shits and giggles, but... That is the kind of shits and giggles that can get you killed. Doesn't that sound like, a, like an after-school special? Come on, Timmy! We're gonna smoke this sulfur just for shits and giggles. Shits and giggles. When shits and giggles kill. Uh, we're gonna pop that. It's a speed upgrade. We don't need that, so let's re-roll it. I don't know. We got a key out of it. I don't. Re oh, it did re-roll all the consumables in the ground, so we did pick up a nickel there. There's probably a much more strategic way, or strategically beneficial way, to actually use this as opposed to just re-rolling whatever's on the ground of the dice room, but. I gotta give that some real thought. As we learned on the last run, Mom's Knife Flatworm is uh, not uh, synergistic. Spelunker's Hat is okay. Still need to use bombs to get to the secret rooms, but it's alright at least. We'll go back for that. It's the new Apple slogan. Tears down! Wow! I wish I had not gone back for that now that I think about it. This run is looking... More and more like the last run every second. I think we did get fate on the last run as well. And we had like low HP and it was my own fault. We're gonna one shot Mask of Infamy, I think. Now it doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess we want this one. I was thinking just for the Black Heart, but I guess the screw does give you a tears upgrade. But I don't know. The Black Heart might end up worth being worth more than a tears upgrade. Maybe. The luck upgrade, I will always be happy to uh, pick up a luck upgrade. I was hoping for maybe uh, something a little bit better than that. That's okay. We're at 1640. I can't believe that we're still going slowly. Uh, bombs are key again. I can't believe we're still going slowly in spite of the fact that uh, 
We have Mom's knife and a ton of damage. Sorry, I got distracted. There was some kind of shout out happening in the other room. A good shout out in a good way, not in like a Wild West way. 20 outlaw trying to draw, thinking you bad. Any draw in the West must be with pen and with pad. Will Smith, man, what will they think of next? I watched Men in Black when I was on the, the flight home last week. Men in Black 1. I've seen it before, obviously. Now, that is a good movie, and it, I'm not trying to offend anybody's movie taste here, okay? I've seen all three of the Men in Black trilogy. Men in Black 3 is actually alright. I mean, it's not as good as the original, but it's pretty good. Plus, it has Jermaine from Flight of the Concords in it, which gives it, like, bonus points no matter what. Is this two of hearts? Two of spades. Well, that's pretty good anyway, but, um... Men in Black 1 is so good, and like, so, like, I don't understand how, I, I can understand not thinking it's the greatest movie of all time, which is fair, but who doesn't like Mega, or not Mega Man, Men in Black 1? Mega Man 1, some people don't like, because let's be honest, the Yellow Devil is just a bullshit boss, but, um, Men in Black 1 is just such a likable movie, it's Will Smith in his, like, you know, late 90s prime, young, charismatic, handsome, he's everything everybody in the world wanted to be. Tommy Lee Jones at his his dour best. We're definitely gonna take our luck upgrade. How bad was Men in Black 2 to just completely destroy Goodwill for that franchise? I, I saw Men in Black 2 because I was of the age. Uh, I saw it in theaters when it came out on like a group shindig thing when I was in like seventh or eighth grade. I think this might seem ridiculous. I think we don't want Nun's Habit. I think we just want the Spirit Heart. The other thing was explosive diarrhea, by the way, the other, the pill. Um, and even as a 12-year-old, seeing a movie for, like, one of the first times with his friends, no parents, oh, man, locked down grade, I was still, like, you know, I'm not a genius, but I think that Men in Black 2 might be kind of bad. And it is kind of bad. What a shame, because that, like, I would love, instead of Saw, I would love to see a new Men in Black movie every year. Even if they couldn't get Will Smith to sign on and keep doing it because he's got a family to raise or whatever. That could have been such a good franchise. I, and I think Men in Black 3, I mean, that's the thing, right? From Men in Black 1 to Men in Black 2. I think the expectation was, oh, shit, Men in Black 2 is like the Matrix, right? I thought that was my little haunt, which is ridiculous because I don't even have a little haunt. I think it was like the Matrix, where people were like, Oh, Men in Black 2? This is like the film event of the year, maybe. And it came out, and it was so bad that people didn't care about Men in Black 3 at all. That's a shame, man. Because Men in Black 3 is actually, like, okay, but the reaction to it seems to be, eh, yeah, it's, it is better than it has any right to be. Anyway, you should go back and watch the first Men in Black movie. It's pretty good. Lighthearted, fun for the whole family grotesqueness that you don't see that much out of modern cinema. Not that it was better back then. Oh, in the good old days of the late 90s, everything was better. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, it, it seems like kind of that campy action movie that maybe I haven't seen in a long time. I also watched Fargo on the plane. Oh my god, both damage multipliers? And if you haven't seen Fargo, by the way, I haven't seen the TV show. I've, I've seen like the first three episodes. We need to wait for FX Canada to get it or something. I'm gonna take Bob's brain just so we can get like full poison here because this is ridiculous. Um, and we're gonna kiss goodbye to Boss Rush, which is probably a good thing in all honesty. But anyway, we need to we need to wait for FX Canada to get that shit before we uh, get to watch it legally, I suppose. Um, but anyway, if you haven't seen Fargo the movie, you should get on that like quick time. That movie is excellent, and William H Macy is my spirit animal, and I wish he was in more things. If you haven't seen the Cooler, if you like William H Macy, you haven't seen the Cooler, you should see the Cooler. This has become Northern Lions movie recommendations. I pretty much only see movies when I'm flying nowadays. So that's why I'm excited to talk about them. You know, I mean, it was a. I, I took Death's Touch. Look, I know we're going to get some more HP in a second. I figured why not stack up as many damage upgrades as we can get. Fucking hopefully Nine Lives shows up because I am a little wary about our lack of HP. But anyway. Um, I mean, their long flight. Oh, this is. I need to focus probably. Um, they're long flights though, dog. It was like... I'll take it. Even though we're not full poison anymore, I think I need the spirit hearts. It was, uh, it was ten hours to Japan, and then, like, nine hours back. I watched X-Men Days of Future Past. I'm not gonna spoil anything about X-Men. I love the franchise, the film franchise. I don't know that much about the comics, honestly. Uh, it's kind of a New Year's resolution of mine. Get a little bit more into that stuff. I will totally take the pact here. Why not? 
It actually gives us more raw HP, and it's not like we could refill one red heart at this point in the game anyway. That movie was pretty good. I like the cast. I like the I like the crew. I like the cinematographer. I like the DP. J Dub and AG. That was just terrible play again. Come on, left hand, work out for me here. I've got oh, it's coming true. I've got uh that that revive might be the most important part of this, by the way. Um I've got a high luck stat, so I am expecting a decent number of chests to drop. I gotta try. Never mind. Luckily we can fly, so we didn't get hit by the damage penalty on the way in. Otherwise I would have been real salty. I saw Godzilla on the way. That was pretty good. This is alright. Again, I'm not these are relatively new movies. I don't want to spoil anything. What about the old movies? I watched the box trolls. That movie is bomb. I don't really like well, I shouldn't say I don't really like, but I don't really watch that many animated movies. Uh just because again, I only watch movies that like come to Netflix in Canada like 10 years after they actually came out in the US. You guys don't know how good you have it if you live in the United States right now. And I know that, you know, I'm I'm being a little bit ungrateful here because there's some parts of the world that just don't even have Netflix yet, but American Netflix, man, that is top tier. If you did a Reddit post, oh, thank God. If you did a Reddit post that was like, you know, America catches a lot of shit sometimes, what are some things that it's better at than any other country? Barbecue? Don't fuck with me on this one. I lived in Korea. Korean barbecue is dynamite. But American barbecue, out of control. Just American cuisine in general, if you're looking for something that tastes delicious and is terrible for you, it doesn't get any better. You know, some people might say that with some irony, but I... I mean that sincerely. Sometimes you just want like a bacon double cheeseburger and you don't care about what it does to your lifespan. That's that's admirable, man, as far as I'm concerned. That and Netflix and I don't know, there's probably some other stuff like, you know, producing Nobel laureates or something. Something stupid like most Nobel Prize winners. Anyway. Box trolls, you should see it. It's got like an old timey well not old timey, but like a classic British animation feel like Wallace and Gromit type thing going on. I wish that Judas's tongue actually did allow us to take uh, dark matter, which is basically just another damage upgrade. Did we actually go to the curse room? We did, okay. But it doesn't, so that's good. Or that's fine, I guess I should say. Not good, necessarily. I'm trying to think of what else I watched. It was the same movies there and back, which was the worst. Luckily, you could make your own selections. Um, oh, this isn't going to stay open. Oh, it is, okay. So we're going to take Super Bandage for the two hearts, because it gives us a Spirit Heart as well. And then we're going to pick up Gray Matter, or Dark Matter, to, to make this work. Alright, so I think we're good. Just looking for a Tinted Rock and I don't see one. I think this should be a win, right? It looks like it should be a pretty easy win. I hope that it ends up working out that way. We have like a double key room right here. I'm also hoping that the Guppy Dream becomes a Guppy Reality, and it seems like it should be likely. Don't blame me, man. I'm playing to win. I'm also playing to have fun, and I'm having a whole lot of fun on this run. We finally got a uh, pretty fly as a new pill to add to our rotation. We can go to our curse room for free. This will be another spirit heart as well. The only thing that can kill me right now, honestly, is Bob's brain. And it could kill me pretty good, but it's going to have to get started pretty soon if it's going to get me finished by the time the, the chest rolls around. Uh, I was really, really thinking that there was probably a guppy dream somewhere in there. We've checked all the tick boxes, though. Is it Tinted Rock? Uh, we, we've checked all the boxes for having a good Isaac run. Stupid damage. And the Hierophon card, that don't hurt. I'll tell you that much. Uh, and now we're actually at the HP cap. That got out of control pretty quickly. Good space bar item. Good damage. Decent HP. And the means with which to replenish it, albeit indirectly, um, based on... Uh, Based on our left hand right now. Also, good guppy chances, but really, it's just it's all about the the mom's knife action that we got going on here. Now, the fistula is going to be the worst boss for us. The rest of them are going to fall in a single hit, which is awesome. I don't expect mom's heart to offer uh, too much resistance either. We also have the compass. You know, it's, it's not as essential, I think, as I felt that it was in vanilla to have mapping. But mapping is always nice to have. In particular, you know... I mean, even the blue map does give you some insight, but you want the compass. Map compass, the classic. Blue map's fine. Now, all I'm hoping for is a Yara rune. Okay, I, I just tapped to change the direction of Mom's knife, and it shot Bob's brain. So I gotta be careful about doing stuff like that in the future. 
Uh, there is a tinted rock. I guess at this point I'm mostly hoping for a small rock or a red chest that had a guppy item, but we only fulfilled the first half of the equation there, unfortunately. So we gotta, like, Bob's brain has become a little bit of a hindrance. Which, you know, people are probably saying, like, no shit right now, but... I really thought that it would be a little bit better than worse. I'm actually surprised that Mom's heart has managed to survive that first hit. I'm not even using Book of Belial anymore. Like, it's not just a bravado thing. It's just like, why use Book of Belial if we're going to two-shot an enemy? So it turns the enemy into a one-shot? I mean, it seems kind of petty, doesn't it? We might as well give them at least a chance in hell of coming back from this. All right, let's use uh, the sun card. And we're going far left here. This is my last chance at redemption here. It's my last guppy dream. Even if it doesn't happen, we probably have like a 90% chance of winning. Maybe higher than 90, actually. We'll check out our secret room quickly. That probably made it so that judgment couldn't even pay out, even if you wanted to. This is a really nice way to open the day of Isaac runs, as far as I'm concerned. Instead of having to, you know, uh, start with a run that's a little bit more difficult. In my relatively uh, sleep-deprived state. Just give me an easy run where I can basically coast and have a good time and guilt-free take every damage upgrade that you give me. Please don't pay out with uh, an HP upgrade. I have a feeling you probably will because that's what you do. Now you give me the bean instead. Don't give someone the bean unless they explicitly ask for it. That's my life lesson for you today, children. And, and adults of a reasonable age. And seniors, man. And, and the living dead. I, unlike a lot of YouTubers, I strongly encourage the undead to watch my videos, uh, as long as you disable adblock. That's the most important thing. But I don't discriminate, you know, living, dead, undead, eternal life, immortal, it doesn't really matter, it's all the same to me. As long as it's all the same to you. With Spelunker's hat, uh, we know that our secret room does not border the curse room, also we've already been to our secret room. You'll forgive me? for not remembering that. This is basically our last opportunity. Sure, why not? This is basically our last opportunity to become Guppy unless we get lucky uh, red chest drops. Which, honestly, we should because we have a really high luck stat, but... Uh, oh, that was not a good bomb. That's why you should always place it and never just bump into it, but that's what I do. Yeah, so we'll, we'll drop the left hand. I'll admit, I am kind of tempted to keep the left hand so that we have a good chance of getting a guppy item on the chest. But I'd rather get like a, if we're gonna win anyway, I'd rather get a bunch of interesting synergies, hopefully, than just one guppy item. Maybe this will do it, all right. Like yeah, we become guppy all the time. Why not just give me like, I'd rather just stack up tier effects and extra damage right now. We will use Book of Belial on Isaac, even though I don't think it's necessarily that important. I almost wanna get hit right away, just to make it so that I can, you know, walk into him and basically finish the job. We don't need to, though. And it's probably in our best interest not to. Yeah, that's okay. Down to the next floor. Oh, you know what else I watched on the airplane? I watched Gone... This is so bizarre to me that this is uh, what I'm doing right now, is uh, talking about what I watched on the airplane. However, you know, it is what it is. Um, I watched Gone Girl. Now, that movie is real good. As someone who, uh, who read the book before watching the movie, really good uh, adaptation, actually. And Neil Patrick Harris is awesome in it, in a role that you might not expect, because normally he pay, plays like, I'm the I'm the quirky, like, best friend character. And this is, like, he's actually a little menacing. Good movie. Your mom, if she's not too, like, conservative about it, would love Gone Girl. It strikes me as the kind of movie that cool moms like. That was a compliment. I'm saying your mom's cool. Don't, don't be weird about it. That, they should put that on the movie poster. Gone Girl is a movie for cool moms. And Northern Lion. I liked it. Gone Girl is so awesome. <laughs> anyway. We're just going to fight our boss. I mean, I didn't even talk about it, but we got Unicorn Stump. Unicorn Stump is maybe not the most exciting item in the game, but we get so rare an opportunity 
when it shows up with some synergy that actually makes the invincibility make sense that I would feel remiss if we didn't use it there. That was a super easy win. Hopefully we have a little bit more complex thought that's required for our next round. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.